Soldier Boy Tell. Hey, I got the new dance for y'all called the Soldier Boy. Hey guys, welcome back to Miss Volk's online classroom. If you watched my last video on dialogue, then you're already an expert. Siri, this isn't even your show. Sometimes characters need to get a point across just by themselves. Today, we're going to discuss three very similar concepts, monologue, soliloquies, and asides. These reveal a lot about the plot or what the character is thinking. I mean, when you get down to it, it's really just like talking to yourself, and we all do that, right? Right? The truth is, most of these examples can only truly be found in classic literature or Shakespeare. But since most of you probably don't go home and watch Shakespeare for fun, I'm going to use examples from TV shows and movies. I hate Shakespeare. That's really aggressive, but okay. Just know that technically you should be on stage for these to occur. Let's begin with the most familiar, monologue. As we discussed in the last video, log or log means speech. The prefix mono means one. Just like the time I had mono and was the only one who didn't enjoy spring break. Put the words together and you get monologue. A monologue is essentially a long speech. Everyone can hear it and the person tends to talk about the past and why they did what they did. This is like when your grandma sits you down and tells you the same story about her childhood for the 47th time. Walking up the hill both ways, barefoot in the snow, I saw your grandfather. Now mind you, we didn't have chance snap in those days. Huh? Yeah. Oh, great, great story, Grandma. It's just like a teacher standing up and lecturing in front of the class. Okay, and this is why Prisoner of Azkaban is clearly superior to all the other Harry Potter movies. I don't know what you're not getting about this. Just because you didn't listen to me teach doesn't mean you didn't hear it. Have you ever watched a movie where the villain was like, I'm going to destroy you? But first, let me make this super long, unnecessary speech to everyone around me about just how long I've been waiting to destroy you! And by the time the speech was over, the hero already had time to escape, proving the entire speech pointless? Yeah, that would be a monologue. The next topic to discuss is soliloquy. Thankfully, it's easier to understand than it is to say five times fast. Soliloquy, 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 soliloquy. <laughs> a soliloquy is the same as a monologue. It's a long speech made by one character, but with one main exception. No one else on stage can hear them. You may have seen this before in musical theater. I just have so many feelings and I... Where's that music coming from? I just have so many thoughts and I must sing about them, but I... I couldn't possibly let anyone know. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. But how are you supposed to tell if it's a soliloquy or a monologue just by listening to the soundtrack? Well, it can be very challenging. I mean, it's not like some of the titles are soliloquy, Val John soliloquy, or Cole House soliloquy. Okay, they aren't all like that, but it's a start. The main question is, are they telling you about the plot or about their inner feelings. They just have a lot of feelings. The purpose of a soliloquy is to reveal what the character is thinking or what they're about to do without anyone else hearing. Nobody needs to know. Next, we move on to aside. Instead of a long speech, an aside is a shorter comment made by one character. Like a soliloquy, the people around them can't hear it, but the character talks to the audience or the camera. This is known as breaking the fourth wall. Oh yeah! So I'd like to introduce you to the king of asides, Mr. Ferris Bueller. How could I possibly be expected to handle school on a day like this? This is my ninth sick day this semester. It's getting pretty tough coming up with new illnesses. So I better make this one count. Have you ever seen shows like The Office or Parks and Rec? These shows are designed to break the fourth wall. Characters turn to the audience, or a camera in this case, to talk about the plot, and for some reason, no one else ever seems to hear them. Do I need to be liked? Absolutely not. I like to be liked. I enjoy being liked. I have to be liked. But it's not like this compulsive need. Another example would be Tevya from the musical Fiddler on the Roof. You may think that this musical is boring and old-fashioned, but if you listen really closely, Tevye stops the plot a lot just to throw shade at everyone around him. Dear God, was that necessary? In conclusion, monologues, soliloquies, and asides are really just speeches made by characters who really like to hear themselves talk. Isn't that what you're doing right now? Okay, will you just... That's all for Miss Volk's online classroom today. And remember, if someone tells you to break a leg before a performance, that's just an expression, not a threat. Usually. So long, farewell, I'll be the same goodnight. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.